Hello, welcome to the fifth Servlets NGSP tutorial. Let's start by copying the Web4 project and pasting it under the Web5 name. As always, let's go to Properties and then search for Web and then in Web Project Settings, change the name to Web5. Click OK and OK again. There we go. Now, now our project is ready to work. And in this tutorial, we're going to make another step towards using the JSP file we have, the form JSP file, we will make another step toward actually using that form and submitting that form to our servlet. Okay, so what the first thing I would like to do is to create a new package. Let's call it com.airline.models. There we go. Now in the, in the package, let's create a new class, just a simple class, and let's call it passenger. There we go. Here is passenger, a simple Java class. And in the passenger class, let's give it some instance variable and properties that match to the fields of the form. So on our form, we have one second, it opens the form. Sorry. Okay, there we go. It opened the form. We have first name, last name, date of birth, and gender. Okay, so in our passenger class, I want to have the instance variables that match those form fields. The first form field is first name, so I'm going to add a first name property here. The next one is last name. Perhaps I can make it like, like so. Usually in Java, we follow the, what is called camel case convention or in which the first initial of a new name of an, sorry, the first initial of the next word is capitalized. So there are two, sorry. So there are two words here, last and name. So the first initial of the second word name is capitalized. Um, so we have first name, last name, we have a date for date of birth. Let's, we need to import the package for the date class. It's from Java util. There we go. And the next one, what we had, um, gender. Okay, so gender, it's a little special. It's not a primitive, but here in gender, I'm actually saying that the property gender is of type gender class. This now looks a little strange. And what do I mean by that? Notice that in the error here, in, in, the, in the fixes that are available, Eclipse suggests that we will create an enumeration for gender, and that is what we will do, create an enumeration. And I'll explain what it is in a moment. I'm just going to create an enum. Click Finish. I created the enum by going to right-click, New, and then Enum. Now I have the gender enum. And an enumeration in Java is basically a list of constants such as those male and female that forces our gender instance variable to be equal to only one one of the values in the list so gender can now only equal to male or female it cannot equal anything else so if i try to set so gender for example it can only equal gender dot 
and then we have sorry we need an equal sign gender dot and then we have male and female so we say female but it cannot equal to anything else if we want another option then we can add it to the enumeration so say it was like this now gender can also equal to this option so the key to understand what enumeration is just a list of options and it makes our instance variable uh, it guarantees or it forces it forces our instant instance variable to equal to only to one of the possible options okay there we go and now that we have all this let's create gathers and setters so i'm going to right click go to source generate gathers and setters this is a quick way to generate a get and a set method and get and set methods we could have had typed exactly the same thing by hand but just much easier that eclipse has done it for us and here we have for example the first name property so we have a get first name, a gather for the first name, and a setter for the first name. So it gets the value of the instance variable, and the setter takes a new value for first name, and takes a new value for first name, and makes our instance variable equal to the new value. And we have them for we have gathers and setters for all our properties. Very well. Next, we can right click again and go to source and generate to string and make sure that all the fields are checked. A to string method is just allowing, allows us to print a passenger in, an, in a nice way. So if we do, if somewhere, let's say here, we were to do system dot out dot print lane this this refers to the current object then without the two string method we would get you know we, we won't get a interesting out we won't get a valuable output we would just get the memory location where this passenger object is located but if we have a two string method whenever we try to print a passenger object we would actually get a nice output listing all the different properties and their values. So this is just, so whenever we print a passenger object, we will get a nice output associated with it automatically, right? Automatically when we print. Okay, there we go. And we created the passenger class and in the next tutorial, we will use this passenger class to create a passenger object once the form is submitted. But for now, thank you for watching this tutorial and hopefully we will continue next time.